Zach, how's it going, man? Everything's good, my man. I just coming off a win in uh, July. I'm coming back in October and fight in November. And everything's good, my man. A big weekend for boxing next week. Canelo Mayweather. Who do you got? I mean, I think that uh, I, th I think Mayweather just off off what we've seen over and over and over and over like. You know, we thought Cotto was the guy to do it. We thought such and such was the guy to do it. We thought Marquez was the guy to do it. And uh, I, I, I respect Mayweather and I respect Canelo. I, I, I think Mayweather. How about Matisse and Garcia? I think Matisse. I, I just think, like, I mean, Matisse makes me nervous. Like, something about, like, I feel like he just touches you and you're just on Queer, on queer Street, you know? And uh, I, I say Matisse for that. But I like Danny Garcia. That's not a shout out to him. How do you like working with Freddie Roach? I've been to the gym, I've seen you do mitts with him and everything. He always has good things to say about you. Tell me, how, what's it like to work with, with a legendary trainer like Freddie? You know, I work with Freddie and I work with Eric Brown, but with Freddie, Freddie's got me sitting, 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 you know. He, he's not trying to stay in the fight for 12 rounds. He said, we gotta go home. And I got, I got the power to do it. I'm working on the confidence to know it's time to sit down on that shot. So Freddie's beautiful. Freddie's a tactician. Freddie doesn't talk when I'm when I'm in the middle of the round. When I go back to the corner, he gives me my instruction. I mean, Freddie's the real deal. He's there from from eight in the morning to five at night. I mean, Freddie's boxing. 2014. Seeing a title shot anytime soon? 2013. I would say at the end of 2014, I'd like to take a title shot. And but like I said, I I, I don't want to be like one of those boxers who. I'm going to be this and that. I just want to take it one fight at a time. I've learned some lessons the hard way. You know, I'm coming back. I'm winning. Um, I'm focused. I'm boxing. I'm boxing nice and I'm, I'm boxing smart. One fight at a time. But of course, I'd love to fight for a title. You know, like these are Pauli Malinashi. These are the guys that I look up to that, that, that I signed my contract with and that I grew up with. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I'm, I just turned 25. Like, yeah, I, I just want to take one fight at a time. But of course, I want to get there. Tell me. You had a little setback with the jaw and everything. How was your confidence after that? You dominated the last fight. Right. So do you think you're gonna? You think you're gonna like forget about that's done? That's yeah, over? yeah. I'm not thinking about it. Everything's good. My jaw feels good. My mouthpiece feels good. And and you know what? The lesson. Like I got 36 stitches. In, I've been I've been a pro for one and a half years. I got 36 stitches in my head. I got a broken jaw. I got a busted eye. I mean, boxing is real. And if anything, I learned to respect the sport. And so when I'm training, I have that understanding of respect the sport because it will hurt you if, if, if you don't take it serious. ESPN just said boxing is dead. What do you think about that topic? I mean, Mayweather Canelo next weekend. What are they bringing in? I, I don't have the numbers, but I'm sure you have a better idea than me. I wouldn't say boxing is dead by any means. And also, you know, I, I say this all the time because I... I'm kind of a different, different type of fighter. I'm a, I'm a white, I'm a white Jew from LA, trained with Freddie Roach. Uh, I'm bringing new fans to the sport. So boxing isn't dead. It just, it needs something to be a fan of. Like it, it needs that guy who, who raises their hand, the opponent's hand, after the fight's over. You know what I mean? Boxing is a sport. At the end of the day, like when we're done fighting, it's a fucking, it, it, it's just my language, it's a sport. Any words for your fans, the last word for your fans? Say it again? Any words for your fans before we go? Yeah, I mean, uh, LA, thank you for being so supportive. New York, thank you for being so supportive. I'm starting to get love from everywhere. I'm getting fan mail, all this good stuff coming in. I mean, I, I genuinely appreciate it. Like, I, I, I've been in the $20 seats in the nosebleeds. I've sat there and I've worked my way all the way up to the ring. So, thank you for spending your money on me. And, and um, I train, I, you know, I think, I think of my fans and uh, I think of the support I have and I think of the Jewish community. And, and I, I appreciate it and I respect my sport.